Tap to the Beat All Out Summer Festival is the new event featuring Kaminari. And in this event, we are going to be taking on Ultra and Extreme Difficulty. Now, easy through hard, in my opinion, we're not all that difficult. So I'm thinking Ultra also will be fairly easy. But then when we get into Extreme, I think that's where we will run into some difficulties because Extreme will take multiple times of to get through it. Sometimes it takes us two times, sometimes it takes us three, sometimes it takes us six. It just depends on how much health the boss has and how many gimmicks they have that make them annoying. But typically, it's not all that difficult. It's just time consuming to get through extreme. So for ultra though, it is important to three star it because you get the UR memory limit breaker fragment. Those UR limit breaker fragments add up because once you get 20 of them, you can exchange them for a UR limit breaker ticket. And then with that ticket you can limit break a ur memory at least one time now that may not sound like a lot but trust me you get plenty of these plenty of different ways throughout the game and you are able to actually get them fairly consistently so make sure you get them whenever you can even if it's just one or two especially with the new ur memory that just came out that came out alongside this kaminari event because that ur memory is actually so goaded it is really 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 good so that might I, I would actually recommend using your limit breaker fragments or tickets on that memory if you can and if you get more than one copy of the memory maybe keep at least two copies of the memory because it could be useful later on but yeah additionally you get the sr memory free to play as well from this event for clearing ultra so you want to make sure you clear that and you get a bunch of tickets from clearing ultra and extreme you get a lot more tickets from extreme so lots of reasons to clear ultra and extreme hopefully you guys can do it i'm going to be taking it on here you'll see my team you'll see my characters but I'll, honestly uh i think any characters could take this on i don't think kaminari is one of the harder ones i think i've seen harder characters that we've taken on in the past harder bosses so i think most people will be able to do this now we are running the friend unit with the new memory i myself also pulled the new memory which you guys did not see on camera <laughs> during my summon video because I did it afterwards with a few extra silver tickets I got and I was really surprised so I got it on a single silver ticket which was very very hype I think I already passed it there it is so I'm gonna go ahead and equip that to Kaminari there so I have the memory on him it does action skill cooldown it does HP for male characters which we have male characters on the team and it also gives him speed so hopefully this team will end up working out pretty well for us but we will see here as we hop in I want to take it off I could probably do it on auto honestly but I'm gonna take it off auto uh, because I just don't want to accidentally mess up my skill chains or anything like that. I will be doing a showcase on this Kaminari later on. Right now I only have him up to board 7, even though he is board or, uh, fully 130. Sorry. <laughs> um, and his peace route is completely done. But I'm still working on his DX peace route. And so when I finish up his DX peace route and when I finish up his basic board, that is when I will do a showcase on him, either in probably in PvP and in the climax battle that is returning. All right, so high voltage charge is going to be an AOE. It doesn't matter though, because we're going against a single opponent. It will lower their power, decrease their critical hit rate, and has a low chance to paralyze them, and increases the skill skill impact by 20% uh, and gives the skill bullseye. Okay, so let's do that. And then we'll do this, and then we'll do this. Did not paralyze. He's gonna be resistant to paralyze, of course, so that makes sense. And he has the evasion, but we do have uh, characters with bullseye, so it's kind of, we're kind of fine. And we're doing really good damage right now. Like, that's a lot of damage in just two turns. That's insane, actually. These three characters together, I feel like, is an absolute powerhouse team. We'll go ahead and use all of our plus ultras here. That's the friend plus ultra. My Kaminari is probably not going to hit very hard right now, because like I said, he's not uh, fully upgraded yet. We'll see how hard he hits, though. Oh, actually, you know what? Maybe I'm wrong. 99, th okay. Yeah, this Kaminari is going to be good. He's going to be actually pretty dang decent, I think. Uh, we will have to do some more testing and try him out in PvP and stuff, but I think he's going to be a very good character, worth pulling. And once again, if you aren't pulling for Kaminari, you should at least pull for the memory, because the memory is actually really, really good. But with that said, let's try out Extreme. For clearing Extreme, you get 1,200 tickets. You also get 50 hero gems. And then each time you go through Extreme, you're also getting tickets. So it's actually a lot more than 1,200 tickets. You get a ton of tickets from doing Extreme. So make sure you guys are completing it. We're going to go ahead and go in. We're probably just going to pick the same friend unit if they are there, which they are. So we'll choose that. And we'll go ahead and hop in and see how much health this boss has. 
Now, keep in mind on the team select screen, uh, there is a strategy info button in the top right. A lot of times I'm kind of notorious for not clicking that, typically because honestly, my characters are so strong, I usually don't have to worry about the strategy info. But if you're newer to the game and you don't have the best characters, it might be worth looking at the strategy info because that can give you an idea of how to clear this the most efficiently. With that said, we have 15 turns. He has 7 million health. Oh boy, we're about to see how this goes. I think it'll go all right, but who knows? Ooh, that piercing shot turn one, 64,000. is just absolutely insane for Midoriya. It's still so good. As a general pool unit, it's one of the best general pool units still. Absolutely insane. Full 100% Deku. Absolutely crazy. Oh my gosh, turn two, 98,000. He still impresses me. Still impresses me to this day. Alright, we'll do all of these plus ultras here. Let's see how much health he is at at the end of this turn. I feel like he'll be fairly low, actually, right here. Okay, nobody got paralyzed. Good. 99,000. And we have... We should be pretty close to have been... Yeah, we've almost done a million damage. We've done over a million damage in just three turns. In three turns, we've done over a million damage. That's insane. Okay, and we're good on cooldowns. I think having that memory actually on Kaminari has helped out a little bit. 65,000. 99. We're just... Oh my gosh, we are destroying him. Absolutely destroying him. The buff block as well from Bakugo. I think that's just helping pop off. Like, it's all going really, really well. I feel like you could get away without running Kaminari here, and you could just run the memory, and the memory would be, like, enough if you ran uh, Bakugo and Fo 100% Deku. But still, this is going... Why do we get... I guess we get double attack from Kaminari. Is that what's happening here? Hold on, we got a cooldown time. Buff, blah, blah, blah. Double attack gives character two normal attacks. It must be just from Kaminari being here. Okay, that's fine. Let's go ahead and use all of our plus ultras here. He's blind, that's nice, so maybe when he plus ultras, he won't hit as hard or he'll miss or something, who knows. Alright, really big attacks, and <laughs> he did not hit us, let's go, let's go. Oh my gosh, we are flying through this, we are, this is the team, oh man. I don't want to say this has been the easiest extreme so far, but it, it might be, it might be. Jeez. Alright, uh, ooh, we are going to have to wait a turn here, so let's just go ahead and use the 1 plus ultra. Alright, we're still in a pretty good place here. Alright, we will use our skills to get Bakugo his plus ultra back up. We'll try to stay on a normal, like, turn rotation to the best of our ability here. Oh no, he got paralyzed. No! Alright, now it might be a good time to... Yeah, it's a good time to do this then. Yo, oh no, his ten, his 10 turns. I forgot about the 10 turns. Oh my gosh. Okay, his 10 turns are up. That's fine though. Alright, so now we got the Steampunk Deku in. It should still be fine, honestly. Steampunk Deku has that pierce, so he's just going to continue hitting hard. Yeah, we're, we're good. We're good. Alright, we'll use these two plus ultras. This is going to take us two goes. This is literally only going to take us two goes to get through the entire extreme. That literally never happens. I'll be able to, I won't have to like cut recording and then go to like, I'll show you guys the last try. We can just do both tries right now. This is insane. I can't believe we're going to get it done so quickly. Oh no, stop paralyzing Bakugo, you prick. Well, I think maybe we got lucky at the beginning, too, not getting paralyzed more than we have. I don't know. Hard to say. Kaminari is actually doing good amounts of damage. Remember, he's only board 7. I don't even have him to board 13 yet, so I'm kind of impressed with the damage. I'm not going to lie. Another 99,000. Nice. And he's down to 2 million health. 2,700,000 health in one go that's actually that might be a record that honestly might be a record four million nine hundred and sixty four thousand damage in one go holy crap guys that's insane that's ins that team worked way too well that was insanely insanely good well there you go there's the team you definitely want to run to get this done in two tries that's 
nuts. That's absolutely crazy. All right, we should be able to definitely get this done, right? Hopefully before even foe 100% Deku dies, we will have killed him. That would be the goal here. All right, so we go like this. And we'll just continue. We'll do exactly what we did last time. Hopefully we don't get paralyzed. We'll see if we just got lucky last time or if like he actually doesn't paralyze us earlier on. Because I feel like we just got lucky with not getting paralyzed last time, but we'll see. I feel like Deku didn't hit as hard this time on turn 1 and 2. I feel like last time he hit crits, right, and hit a little bit harder. It's fine. I don't think it's going to make that big of a difference, but it makes me a little bit sad. Alright, friend hit 41,000. Nobody's paralyzed. Big. 99,000. Another 99,000. And another 99,000. That's 300,000 damage in one turn. Absolutely insane. Alright, we continue. Dude, the damage is just off the it's off the charts with this team. It's actually crazy. And we should be finishing this up here in probably what, two to three more turns? I would say three more turns after this, because it takes about three turns to get through a million health. That's my guess. We'll see. So not including this turn, three more turns, I would say. Looking good. Oh, we actually paralyzed the unparalyzable guy. Okay, crazy. Wow, I'm surprised we did that. All right. I mean, he only resists paralysis technically, which means there is a chance, but it's like a, a pretty slim chance you actually paralyze him. All right, it's not going to take three turns after that turn. It's going to take two turns after that turn. So that was close. Uh, we'll do this and we'll do this. Oh, maybe it'll take us more because I don't actually have action skills up. We'll see. He did not paralyze Bakugo. Okay, so we might actually do it right here. Yep, we do it right here. Big, big, literally two rounds to take down this Kaminari. Not even a full two rounds. That was like a round and a half. That was probably the easiest extreme I've done, but I think a lot of it had to do with the buff block. These are three powerhouse characters, right? And not everybody's going to have these characters, but I do think maybe the secret a little bit is to have that buff block and to have the action skill cooldown time and that memory on Kaminari the, with the new memory that we're running with the action skill cooldown time is absolutely goaded, right? It's so, so good. So there we go, guys. If you guys enjoyed the video, please consider going down there, hitting that like button and hitting that subscribe button. And let me know how many tries it took you to get through extreme. Peace.